Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of tired today. It's been a long week. That's why I wasn't uploading on Sunday or anything. It's just been a busy week. But, 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 but you know, we're here. Better late than never. So, yeah, even though it's been almost a week, I would like to discuss the, was it the AFC Championship Chiefs versus Ravens. So, I didn't upload a score prediction for that, unfortunately. But I did, like, you know, off screen with my friends that say I was predicting a 2017 Chiefs win, even though I was basically saying that it could have gone either way because, you know, <laughs> the Ravens are the best team in the AFC, they're a number one seed and all that. But in the end, we won. Chiefs won. Uh, and I, I would say I underestimated our offense, overestimated their offense, and defenses played very well. So, like, in the first half, you know, like, our defense basically shut out the Ravens. We only let them score once. Well, we got two touchdowns and a field goal. So, going into the second half, Chiefs had a lead of 17-7. to I was very happy but still nervous because, you know, I don't want the Chiefs to get too comfortable because, you know, if we get too comfortable, we'll have a problem where we just don't score in the second half. And the problem was we didn't score in the second half. Ravens defense shut us out. But our defense did continue performing excellently, and we only let them score a field goal, so we won the game 17-10. It was very good. It was very surprising, to be honest. Like, I was, I was, I was extremely nervous leading up to that game. I thought that we were going to lose because, like I said, you know, Lamar Jackson – most likely going to be the MVP. He's very good. Ravens team has been very good. Number one seed. They've beaten so many teams who win records. Winning records. Sorry, you know, they, they beat the Lions. They beat the Niners. 33-19. That, was, that, that really terrified me. But in the end, you know, the Chiefs came through and we won. You know, like, it did not look like we could have beaten the Niners, like, based off of our regular season. Like, I tell you, though, like, you know, if we make these type of mistakes in the playoffs, especially against a team like the Ravens, we're probably not going to make it to a Super Bowl. Yeah, playoff Chiefs, you know, they're different than the regular season Chiefs said they won. But to be honest, like, even though we did win, I would say a large portion of it portion of it was because the Ravens just fucking imploded. Like, I'm just looking at, like, the game. Like, Zay Flowers fumbling the ball in the end zone. Not, you know, that gave you McCole Hardman vibes. I was like, oh, my God. That was terrifying, man. Like, I mean, it was terrifying for me. I was like, yeah, but, like, you know, Snead just, like, the ball coming out. Like, that was insane. Like, that was fucking insane, man. It's not just that, but the penalties. Like, remember that one, like, run that Zay Flowers did? Like, he had such a good catch from, like, 40 yards or something. You know, like, a bunch of it got called back because his dumbass just started fucking taunting Snead on the ground. It's like, they were killing themselves with the fucking penalties, bro. It was, it was cringe, to be honest. It was just cringe. And yes, yes, yes. People do like to say that, you know, the refs rigged it for the Chiefs, talking about, like, missed PI calls and missed holdings. But in my opinion... You can analyze a game, you know, you can watch the film over and over to see, like, oh, this call was missed. Oh, this call was missed. Like, for example, like, on the crucial 4th and 1, Isaiah Pacheco was fucking whacked in the face and we didn't make it. You know, I'm not bitching about how, like, we could have gotten an automatic first down off of that. Because, you know, in the end, I don't personally don't believe one call should really decide a game. That team just needs to play better. Like, even with that week 14 call against the Bills, you know, with Tony lining up offsides, yes, it's infuriating, but at the same time, if we played better, you know, like, we wouldn't need to rely on one drive, one play to, like, be like, oh, one play goes to the game. Like, it's a fucking team effort, you know, all that shit. So, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. So, to be honest, the Ravens did fucking implode. Like I mentioned, Flowers fell the ball in the end zone. Lamar, at the end, panicking, throwing the fucking triple coverage like an idiot, which led to an interception. <clears throat> I mean, this was basically, like, my main point and, like, why I thought the Chiefs could win. Like, Patrick Mahomes, he has played in three Super Bowls. He has won two Super Bowls. He's played in, what, five AFC championships prior to this one. The man has experience. That Chiefs team has experience. And, you know, I thought Lamar would panic when, you know, my, my, my theory is that, you know, maybe when Lamar, you know, he has a history of choking in the playoffs. When Patrick Mahomes is bringing the pressure to him, is he going to choke again? I was right. Lamar fucking choked. He panicked. He choked. And they lost the game. I mean, I'm not saying Lamar is a bad player. In fact, he's still probably going to be the MVP. But I'm just saying, like, when you're going up against someone like Patrick Mahomes, you got to make sure you don't choke. Because I'll be honest, Patrick Mahomes is a really scary quarterback. And so is that entire Chiefs team. So, yeah, that, that was something. So, yeah, to be honest, I... Like I said, I was impressed with the offense in the first half, not impressed in the second half, but then again, the Ravens do have the league's best defense, so I can't necessarily like necessarily say that, <laughs> you know, I was I was expecting too much because it's the league's best defense. But yeah, our defense was up to the challenge. We did prevent 
that from scoring it was very nice so yeah overall it was a very nice game it was a very happy day for me i was very happy because everyone told me that the that ravens were going to easily steamroll the chiefs so you can tell that the day after i had some fun trolling some people in my school <laughs> so yeah and then besides that yeah uh, you know uh the what niners beat the lions they had a very nice second half comeback i just can't believe the lions will 24 7 lead bro like damn that was insane but it makes me a bit relieved because I, I respect the Lions, you know, because, you know, they've come so far. And, like, if we if they got all the way to the Super Bowl, then the Chiefs beat the Lions in the Super Bowl, I'd feel a little bad. So I don't feel as bad as, you know, going up against the Niners. So I'm a literal relief that the Lions lost the NFC Championship. So, yeah, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58 is going to be Chiefs versus Niners. I'm very excited. Uh, today's Saturday, February 3rd, I think. So, you know, just still like a week left, eight days left until the Super Bowl. I'm very hyped. And, like, I guess the early thoughts that I have are that I do think the Chiefs will win. Like, I don't want to, I mean, I know the markets say the Niners are the favorites, but then, you know, what the fuck did the markets know? The market said we were going to lose to the Bills, we won. The market said we were going to lose to the Ravens, we won. So I'm not necessarily scared about what the, the markets say, but I don't want to be cocky either. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> like, you don't want to be overconfident, especially a team like the Niners. Like, they got some weapons. You know, they got CMC, they got Brendan Ayuk, Ayuk, Debo Samuel, George Kittle. Those are all very good players. Of course, Brock Purdy. I mean, I wouldn't say Brock Purdy's, like, bad. He's not bad. He's good. He's good. But I wouldn't say he's, like, great either. He's not necessarily an elite quarterback. He's good. But, and, you know, I know he was Mr. Irrelevant, you know. But, and I do have lots of respect for him. But I wouldn't say he's, like, a great 10 out of 10 quarterback. But, like, people like CMC and, like, Brendan Ayuk, we're going to have to watch out for them. They're really going to give our defense, you know, some some work to do but i you know with the league second best defense this year only like, like what 14 points a game i'm not sure i think i think we could do it besides the niners defense gave up like what fucking 24 points to the lines in the first half trust me if you're doing that against the kansas city chiefs if the chiefs are up by 24 17 points a 24 7 lead against um you know in the first half of the super bowl i don't think the line the niners are gonna come back for that because trust me the chiefs defense is really good so your defense the niners defense is gonna have to be really good in the first half of the super bowl if they want to win and like you know and our defense is also gonna have to be very good we gotta you know we gotta block cmc you know that that guy he's a fucking beast he's a fucking weapon we gotta block him to win <clears throat> but to be honest while I am nervous, I wouldn't say I'm as nervous as I was leading up to the Ravens game because, you know, Ravens were arguably the best team in the league this year. So the fact that they went down and we're going up against the Niners, like the second best, I'd say. I just, I'm nervous, but I'm not as nervous. Like, to be honest, remember that, like that, I mentioned this earlier, like that Ravens Niners game in like Christmas Day. I think Purdy panicked and threw like, what, four fucking interceptions against Lamar Jackson. And I'm just going to say this if Purdy panics and starts throwing interceptions, Against the Kansas, against against the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, that's not gonna be good. Because Patrick Mahomes soft, and like the Niners defense is good, but they're like not as good as like some of the other defenses that were like we went up against the fucking Ravens defense, the best defense in the league, and we scored seventeen points against them in the first half. So the Niners defense, like I do think, like you know, if if our offense plays well, we can score some points. So to be honest, I don't think it's gonna be as up a low. I'm not, I'm not gonna give my score prediction obviously because we still got a week left, but. <clears throat> As of now, I do think the Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. It's, it's going to be, you know, first time in 20 years, you know, back-to-back -back champions. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. But, you know, anything can happen. We just got to be focused. That's about all. Peace out.